We start tonight with a convicted killer who maintains his innocence, even as a judge reads his sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole. Jackie Roberts joins us now in the newsroom with the latest on Christopher LeClaire's homicide case. Jackie. Jill and Sean, President Judge John Trusilla says this murder was not only deprived, but the most calculated and sophisticated he's ever seen. You had the two opposites, just like positive and negative. Selfless and selfish. And we know the story on that. 49 year old Christopher LeClaire now facing life in prison without the possibility of parole, plus up to 17 years for related charges. But prosecutors say the story began long before he pulled the trigger. Evidence shows the defendant had a plan to kill his wife, Karen LeClaire, for more than a decade. And that became a reality on June 10th of last year. A jury found LeClaire guilty of first degree murder for shooting his wife in the head, tying her to an Anchor and tossing her body into Lake Erie. In trial, LeClaire's attorney said Karen committed suicide. That's the story the defendant stuck to at sentencing. Well, it's an absolutely ridiculous defense. It's a ridiculous story. Another one of his depraved lies. But prosecutors say this case was about more than just the crime. Also, a long history between the defendant and the victim. It's just a beautiful woman who was trying to keep her marriage together and standing by this man who just continued. Lied to her, lied about her, um, embarrassed her. Now Karen's family is ready to move forward as the defendant still claims he's innocent. He is blatantly arrogant and has been ever since I've known him. And uh, it's just Chris and uh, his father taught him well. That's all I can say. In trial, the prosecution presented evidence that LeClaire had asked his father to, quote, make it vanish in regards to a 38 caliber revolver. Back to you, Joe. Okay, Jackie Roberts, thank you.